Hello everyone. Welcome to Ortho Implants for Life. This week we will discuss about different types of distal femoral locking plates and other related instruments required for distal femoral fracture fixation. So let's begin. Today we will discuss about distal femoral locking plates. There are four types of distal femoral locking plates. Number one, distal femoral locking plate lateral. This is a site specific plate available in a left and right variation. This one is a left plate. It is also available in different sizes, starting from 5 hole, then 7 hole, 9 holes, and 11 holes. This one is a right side plate. Again, it ranges from 5 hole to 11 hole. So this was distal femoral locking plate lateral. Number two, distal femoral locking plate medial. This is also a site specific plate available in left and right. This one is the right one and this one is left. This is also available in various lengths. Starting from two holes. Two holes, four holes, six holes and eight holes. This one is the right side plate. Four, six, eight, and ten holes. Number three, distal femur medial T buttress locking plate. This is a universal plate and is not site specific. Number 4, Distal Femur Lateral Buttress Plate. This one is available in left and right. We're showing you the right side plate. And these are the left side plates. Now coming to the instruments, first we will require 4.9 mm locking sleeves. Next we will require K wires of 1.8 mm. We will require drill bit of two different sizes. One is 3.2 mm drill bit. Another one is a 4.2 mm drill bit. Next we will require a 4.5 mm bone tap. Then a depth gauge. Thereafter we will also provide 4.5 mm solid screwdrivers. A 4.5 mm torque limiting screwdrivers. Next, we will require guide wires of 1.8 mm. Then a 4.5 mm cannulated drill bit. Six point five mm cannulated bone tap. Then we will also need to provide a wire measuring scale. We will also require a 4.5 mm cannulated screwdriver. Cannulated means hollow within. 
so that the guide wire can pass through easily. This instrument is called a big condyler clamp. If there is a condyle fracture in distal femur, after bringing the fractured pieces of the condyle together and aligning them, this big condyler clamp helps to hold them together. We will also require a MEPO elevator. MEPO stands for Minimally Invasive Plate Osteosynthesis. This is used for tunneling and creating ways for the plates or implants without having to make a bigger incision. This procedure is called MEPO where without creating a big incision we can pass on any implants to the fracture site. Coming to the screws. We require 4.5 mm cortical screws for this fixation. Then we will also require 4.9 mm locking screws. Then 4.9 mm locking canceller screws. Next 6.5 mm full thread canceller screws. And lastly, 6.5 mm cannulated cancellor screws. Cannulated means it's hollow in the middle and is fixed with the help of a guide wire. Most of the time when we use a cancellor screws, it is advised to use a washer with it so that it does not get flushed into the bone. So the 4.5 mm cortical screw gets locked in the bone and not the plate. This is a 4.9 mm locking screw which gets locked in both the bone and the plate. This is 4.9 locking cancellor screw which is used mostly in the condyle part and gets locked in both plate and the bone. This is a 6.5 full thread cancellor screw which is used in the cancellous part of the bone and this only gets locked in the bone and not the plate. And lastly 6.5 mm cannulated cancellor screw which goes in through the help of the guide wire and is fixed with a washer. Four point nine locking screws, four pieces of each size, four point five cortical screws, four pieces of each size, then four point nine mm locking cancellor screws, which is kept here in two rows, and then here in two rows. For this also we will require four pieces of each size. 
for 6.5 mm cannulated cancellous screw, three pieces of each size, lastly 6.5 mm full thread cancellous screw, two pieces of each size, and washer, four pieces of each size. That is all for today. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any queries, comment below and we will surely reply back. If you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry, please click the link below in the description box and DM us to know more. Thank you and see you in our next video.